bad. This is my worst nightmare. I actually can't think of anything worse. This is beautiful. Beautiful spec, great color. I'm not letting you buy this. Let's not rush into it now. Here we go, baby. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> We are off to do a bit of car shopping. I think I've said this before, but when I'm in UK, as you can see, I'm almost driven in Dubai. I'm driven, I'm almost in the back. Driving in Dubai is genuinely stressful. So most of the time I just sit in the back, do some work, make some calls. And yeah, that's day to day occasion when we go abroad. I'll rent out some nice supercars, some nice sports cars, have a little bit of fun, zip around. So at the moment, all the cars that I own are all cars that's in the back. But today I'm buying my first ever supercar. Well, I might be buying. We're stopping off at one place, and then we're gonna go check out a few other spots as well, see what can be done, how quickly it can be done, because there is, for example, one specific car I want, but it'll take three to four years. And unfortunately, I don't have that time because I need a car in one year exactly for a very special event that I'm very excited for. And actually, it might even be a cool opportunity for us to hang out and uh, spend some time around some cool cars, but I will tell you a little bit more about that at the end of the video. I'm trying to get it. Well, I mean, I also, I guess the thing is, well, I guess we have to wait until the end to talk about it, but there's not many people who buy a car knowing that they're gonna slap on an aggressive amount of miles pretty quickly, so. Uh, it's only 1,500 miles, 1,000 miles. Yeah, so I guess that yeah. kind of changes things, no? Uh, no, no, it's fine. Look, I feel as a listeners, the cars you want to drive for a quick 30, 60 minutes. I have to consider a few other things with this purchase, you know, like, like, such as? like the health of my back. Oh, really? I'm on a money routine. I don't want smoke, I want cream. Making a habit out of this, sir. Huh? What, buying cars? <laughs> yeah. This will be, what, the third one in six weeks? Ridiculous. This is where I talk him into this. Yeah? But bro, you know I'm not a Lambo kind of guy. <laughs> That's going to change. Bro, what the fuck? This is all going to change. Oh, God, this is my worst nightmare. I actually can't think of anything worse. Have you, have you driven one before? Yeah. Was it rock hard seats? Yes. These have got comfort seats. Really? I know you. These are you comfort seats. Yeah, Whether you share the driving or not, <laughs> it's, it's just as uncomfortable in the passenger seat as it is in the driver's. This is unbelievably comfortable. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I need my tracksuit. <laughs> right, what else we got? Well, this is the one. Or you can go super low and get an STO. What, an STO? Yeah. No, no ch that thing. Yeah, that's. No, no chance. No, you don't want that. It's no, the that's most uncomfortable thing ever. It's so ugly. Why would anyone buy this? I mean, listen, I get it if you're on track days, right? It's a good track day car, but like day to day. Take a dive, put away my pride. Well, you don't miss it. This is a nice car. Yeah, it is. What's wrong with this? If you're like 60. Nah. What? How? I mean, yeah, it's nice, but you're in your 20s. Yeah, so? Yeah, but I have a phantom, bro. I'm, I'm an old man, you know? This is beautiful. Beautiful spec, great color, nice interior, drop top. I'm sure the car play in here is nice. Yeah, I'm sure it's great. <laughs> ah, I can get it nice and comfy on this one. I'm not letting you buy this. I'll buy that, I'll go half of you, if you go half of me on a Bentley. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm, let me just check my date of birth. No, I'm sorry. This is not gonna happen. <laughs> Benny's are sick. I don't know what you're on about. Okay, I'll consider it. Okay. If you want something that's got performance, sort of the Lamborghini drama of V10 or V12, you want five seats, big boot space, this is the car you buy. You know what? I think this is probably the only Lambo I'd own. Own? Yeah, like I'd, this is probably the only Lambo I'd buy. I have no use for it, but... It's because you haven't been in an event at all. I have. Have you? But just not driven it. I don't think it really fits into car rally, to be honest. How much money you got a lot? How many problems you got a lot? Be honest, he's be, not here. Be honest? Yeah. It's, you won't, you won't drive it, I know you. Yeah. It, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> what I do you think feel? realistically, for me it has to be a Porsche, maybe a Ferrari. I'm just so aggressively against Lambos. It works. Does it? Yeah. You know all I need now? Lamborghini. A Bentley. No. <laughs> 
now's a good time for me to explain why I actually need my first supercar. So as you guys know, I don't do any in-person events. I don't do keynotes, speeches. I get so much that comes across my table. This is the first thing in so long that actually interested me and that's because I know how incredible of an entrepreneur John is. And I know that this is just gonna be such a cool chance to meet so many of you guys, spend a week together. So now is probably a good time to actually unveil what this is. So maybe you wanna tell them a little bit about the magic that you've created with Modball. But basically the Modball, it's been around for 17 years. It's like the craziest week. It's like a rolling festival. Last year it went to the Monaco Grand Prix. This year is Ibiza. But next year, it, we're taking it back to the Monaco Grand Prix because it's so incredible. In the past year, what I've seen you do on YouTube and your social media and your businesses is like incredibly impressive. And long story short, we're partnering up for next year's event. Iman's going to bring his entire like media side of things, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to bounce ideas off for all the parties and events. So I know you like to party every now and again. So yeah, we're basically joining our brains together to create the most epic mob ball in 18 years. So for most of you guys, this will be a cool opportunity for me to take you through the journey of buying my first supercar. It's gonna be a super cool week. We're gonna be touring all the way through Europe and ending off in Monaco for Grand Prix. And Monaco Grand Prix is one of the probably five to 10 events a year that everyone wants to go to and no one can do it right. And not only that, but be there with a hundred plus other people that have the same interests in you, have the same likes as you. And it's not just that, but a week of traveling with people. I mean, that's yeah. that's one way to bond. And you're definitely gonna leave with a very special connection with all the people who attend. It's good you mentioned that, because obviously we're opening up 150 slots, but for the hundreds of other thousands that watch this, but unfortunately, you know, don't have the financial means to attend this yet. And by the way, this is something that can be aspirational. You guys can actually come and we'll make it known where we're stopping off in which cities, and you can basically come and see 150 incredible supercars speak to the owners i'm sure that if you ask the owners of these supercars hey what did you do how do you end up in this position you know can you tell me a little bit about your story you know you're going to end up meeting so many interesting characters along the way so and one of the things i've always wanted to do on one board because we have like a we have a great gatsby party during the week and in monaco we can have a charity ball um, and i would love love to raise a million dollars somehow for charity so a little bit about how you can get involved bear in mind it will be application process listen this is similar to any serious business mastermind of course we're gonna go we're gonna have a ton of fun we're gonna raise a bunch of money for charity we're gonna have lifelong experiences but at the end of the day we need to make sure and this is very very important we need to make sure we safeguard who comes the caliber of people that come because at the end of the day we're spending a week together so for us to dedicate a week of our life and interact daily with all of the attendees we want to make sure that we have the highest caliber of people there so there'll be a link below where you can apply the cost is nine thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars per person minimum of two people in a car and john maybe you can tell them what that actually includes yes thank includes all the hotels, the entire experience, all the events. Doesn't include alcohol, obviously. But yeah, it includes absolutely everything. Car displays, all the stickers on the cars, everything that goes on, along around it. And then the, the final part of it is that we, we've we already put together the final party on top of Nikki Beach. So not only do we get to experience the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix as a group in, with a big party, but we're overlooking the hairpin and the yachts at the same time. That's probably the best place you could be for F1 Grand Prix. The question is though, how are you doing it? I think we need to go to Ferrari next. <laughs> and that's about it. I'm very excited to see some of you guys next year. Spend a week driving together, creating some amazing memories, and top it all off at Monaco F1. Alright, so in London now, off to Rolex dinner for their top clients. I will see what I can record, and if I can get anything for you guys, then yeah, I'll uh, show you some of the new pieces. I hop on the phone, turn the music up, got in my zone. Drunk texting, I should probably super troll. Had to do wrong, order to do you right. You gotta go through it, order to give advice. It's the price of the lady night. So guys, it's the next morning on from the Rolex event. We are currently on the way to Farnborough Airport where we came from yesterday. The funny thing about Patek is they're not gonna be like, oh, and then we take the jet to Geneva, but it's at Farnborough Airport, which is only a private airport. So I think we're going back on a jet, I think. Or they may have just told the Wizz Air to come to Farnborough, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, anyways, it's early morning. Off to go to Geneva to go around the factory uh, to get a little tour of the historical buildings and see some of the new pieces. So I'm very, very excited for this one. To be honest, as you guys know, Patek is, outside of even watches, I'd say it's probably my favorite brand on earth. So, yeah, definitely very excited. Five 
30 to call missing. No text backs or call misses. I feel like we all victims. Docs is getting long. Drunk testing, I should not do Patron. So what are we doing? Well, Amara planned activities, and then the worst fucking activities on earth. Look at it. Segways, and you have to wear a helmet, apparently. Yeah. I can feel how bad it is. Like we got clay pigeon shooting, except it's fucking laser. This is pathetic. Amara took an L here. Amara took a fat L. Okay, so just so drive just going over them all the like way that. around. Yeah, that's it. And then you got to go around the pole, all the way around on the second one. Come through here for the second lap. <laughs> Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a hassle. Watch, you see both yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Yeah. The winners on the laser case shooting, team one. Yay. Close the winners on the archery, team one. Yeah. The winners on the segways, team one. Yeah. A clean shoot! Oh. Uh, I am late because I come bearing gifts. Oh, oh. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Lots of gifts. Wait, 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 wait. Man, there's like actually like shit tons of gifts. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh no. That's Thank you. 